Hello there, thanks for joining me once again. In this tutorial I'm going to tie up a little wet flyer that's well known, the red tag, but uh, I uh, changed this one up a little bit. I had a little bit of flash to it on the top and instead of the uh, usual red yarn for the tail, I um, used a little bit of uh, red marabou on it. And I thought it was a pretty cool looking fly once I put it together and I thought you might like to see this guy tied up. So I'll get him out of the vise, the fresh hook in, and get going here for you. The hook is a must head 399, excuse me, 3399 wet fly hook, standard wet fly hook here. And I'm tying on a little bigger size for the video, a size uh, 10 here. So I'll get that locked down in the vise. And thread of choice is UTC black, 70 denier. And we'll start about a hook eye length behind the eye here and uh, begin to wrap back. And we'll go back to almost to the barb. And snip off that tag here. Okay. And I'll make a few wraps back. Now, tail, I just took a little bit of marabou off the stem of a marabou palm here. And I'm just going to pull a little bit off. Not too thick of a tail. Pull a little off like so. About that much there. It's about a hook gap width, I'd say. Then I'm just going to squeeze it together and take my thumb and forefinger there and just pick my fingernails and pinch it off straight. And I want that about the length of the hook gap, so we'll come in and actually get that a little too thick, so I'm going to take a little bit out. And to make it a little easier, I'm just going to wet it here. And we'll tie that in. Right on top with a pinch wrap. Okay, a couple wraps back, then forward. Okay, there's our tail. And then I'm going to snip that off about halfway on the shank. And I'm going to bind the rest of that down. Just wrap forward and stop there. It's got that tail a tad bit too long, so I'm just going to come in and pinch a little bit more off of that. Just a bit, there we go. Okay, so next, I'm going to tie in uh, the uh, rib, and the rib is a UTC small copper wire. And I'm going to catch that in underneath. Just wrap that back to in front of your tail. Just like so here. There we go. Stick that out of the way. Now, for the topping on this, for the flash, I am using a piece of uh, gold holographic tinsel. And I'm just going to take that and tie that in on top here. Just keep it right along the top of the shank. And we'll just wrap that back to in front of our tail as well. Just like so. There we go. Alrighty. So we got that there to fold over here in a bit. Okay, next, I'm just going to get that out of my way here in the material clip. Next is the body, and I got uh, three strands of peacock hurl, and I chose three strands off the eye of the hurl, which I find has a little bit, the hurls are a little bit fuller. Sometimes it makes a little fuller body. So I'll snip the tips off, tie those in on my side here. And I'm going to wrap back to almost to the tail. And then I'm going to take my finger and make a loop, as you would a dubbing loop. Then come up around. Lock that loop in with a couple turns around the base. Like so. And then we'll grab the hurl and the thread loop. And I just got to wrap back a little bit farther, so I'm right in front of the tail. That's fine. Then we'll bring that thread forward. Stop there where we want to tie off. Okay, our next step. Just to spin that rope up before I do, I'm going to take a little bit of hit cement and come along the shank there. Before I wrap that, just put a little bit along there. There we go. Okay. So then I'll take the thread loop and the hurl and my hackle pliers. Grab that at the end there, and we're just going to begin to twist that a little bit. You don't want to over twist it because it can break on you very easily. And we'll take one wrap here. See where I'm at. That looks pretty good there. 
Okay, I'm gonna snug that down. And I'm gonna twist that rope a little bit more this time. And we'll just start to wrap forward here. Just like so. Okay, one wrap right in front of the next. Like always. And as you can see, that gives a little bit fuller body to hurl off the, uh, the eye there, I find. Okay. And we'll get about one more wrap. Then I'll tie this guy off here. Okay, come in underneath, couple wraps in front, behind, and then in front. And lock that down. I'll come in and snip off the excess. There we go. Okay. A few more wraps here just for heads to keep make sure it's in there good. Okay, our next step is to fold over the uh, shell back here, the holographic tinsel. Just fold that over and keep it right in the center on top. Just like so, then wrap back. Then I'm going to fold back on that, locking it in place. Wrap back. Snip off the excess there. Next is our rib, and I'm going to bring that up around. And I'll probably get four or five turns here. Just make sure it doesn't move your uh, flash on the top. You want to keep that down the center. Just like to turn my vise while I'm doing this part, so I can see where it's going there. That's fine. And I'll come up around. And we'll tie that wire off here. Wrap it back to lock it in place. Then I'm going to helicopter that off. Okay, and a few more securing wraps here. Okay, tail's still a tad bit too long, so I'm just going to take another little bit off the end of that there. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Okay, so there's the flash on the top, right along the top there. Okie dokie. Now, our last step is our hackle for the front, and I have a brown hen hackle here ready to tie in by the tip. So, I'll take the tip there and tie it right on top. And make a couple wraps. Then I'm going to fold back. Wrap back onto that tip. And you can come in and give it a little pour. You can snip it out. Just like so there. A few extra fibers there to come out. There we go. Then wrap back on that hackle a little ways. And then I like to make one wrap behind it. Just to sort of stand it up a little bit before I wrap it. Then I'll stop my thread right behind the eye there. Just like so. Okay, so I'll bring in my other hackle pliers here and grab that stem. And we'll wrap this hackle up next. Yeah, I gotta try to get those. I always try to get a, them to go stroke them back so they're going back. This makes it a little easier to wrap them is all. And we'll wrap that forward, just like so here. Stroke the wraps back as I go, I'll come around. And I got a little short stem on this guy, but I can still get him tied off underneath. There we go. Alrighty. So now, I want to come in and fold that little stem back. So when I wrap back, it's going to lock that in. Just turn my vise here so I can see that. And I'm going to push everything back and wrap back onto it. There we go. There, I got that stem locked in. Okay, now we're just going to build the head on this guy and wait finish, and he's a done deal. So build a nice, neat little head on him here. Just like so. Alrighty, that looks good there, so I'm going to come in and make a whip finish. We'll get four or five turns going on them here. Okay. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Just make sure it's in there nice and snug. And 
I'll snip the excess off here. There we go. Alright, our last step. I'm going to take a little bit of bone dry and cover those thread wraps. Okay, we'll go around here and do all the thread wraps. Okie dokie. Alrighty. I'll just give that a quick cure here with the light. Okay. Okie dokie. Not a hard fly to tie at all, just a simple wet fly pattern, but I just... I guess you could say I blinged it up a little bit, changed it up a little. I think it's going to work very well. Okay, that should be good. So there we have it. Another size 10 red tag. There we go. Like I was saying, it's not hard to tie. I hope you can give this one a give this one a whirl. See if I can get a little close up here without it the focus screwing up on me there we go so I want to thank you very much for watching once again and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button appreciate that a lot and uh, thanks for watching and until next time happy tying out there stay safe I shall see you again soon and so long for now folks